When Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, many saw it as a cosmic afterthought, a frozen leftover drifting at the edge of our solar system. Once hailed as the ninth planet, it was suddenly reduced to a distant block of ice and rock, thought to be scientifically unimportant. But that idea is changing, fast. Thanks to new high-resolution observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, Pluto is being seen in an entirely new light. It's no longer a silent, frozen relic. It's a world full of mystery, complexity, and possibly, hidden life. The data coming from JWST has overturned much of what we thought we knew. What once seemed like a dull, inactive world now appears to be alive beneath its icy shell, harboring processes that could redefine our understanding of habitability far from the sun. At the heart of Pluto's enigma lies its most famous feature, Sputnik Planitia, the vast, heart-shaped plane that has become a symbol of the planet itself. Made mostly of frozen nitrogen, this massive glacier is so large that it affects Pluto's rotation, tilting its balance like a cosmic scale. But what's beneath it might be even more remarkable. Scientists now believe that beneath Sputnik Planitia's frozen crust could lie a subsurface ocean, a deep layer of liquid water kept from freezing solid by heat trapped within Pluto's rocky core. That warmth likely comes from the slow decay of radioactive materials, the same kind of process that helps keep moons like Europa and Enceladus geologically active. And this changes everything. If liquid water exists under Pluto's surface, it could provide the essential ingredient for life, even in one of the coldest corners of the solar system. Wherever water is found, the possibility of life soon follows. Supporting this theory are signs of ongoing geological activity. When NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew past Pluto in 2015, it revealed fault lines, ridges, and frozen flows, surface scars that point to an interior still in motion. These aren't the marks of an ancient, dead planet, but of a world that continues to evolve. Pluto also shares a fascinating connection with its largest moon, Charon. Unlike most planet-moon pairs, Pluto and Charon orbit around a common point in space locked together in a gravitational dance. This tug of war causes tidal flexing within Pluto's crust, potentially stirring its interior and generating extra heat. Some scientists even suggest that this interaction could help sustain that underground ocean, and possibly, the chemistry of life itself. But could that ocean actually be alive? It's a bold idea, but not impossible. If microbial organisms have found a way to survive beneath Pluto's ice, they would exist in total darkness, under extreme pressure, and in freezing temperatures, utterly alien to life on Earth. Yet, nature has surprised us before. Physicist Brian Cox once said that if life can exist in a place like Pluto, then it can exist almost anywhere in the universe. Recent JWST data adds even more intrigue. The telescope has detected unusual heat patterns and chemical signatures beneath Pluto's surface, hints that something dynamic might be occurring below. While these signals could have many explanations, some scientists note that they resemble the kind of chemical patterns created by biological activity on Earth. If that's true, it could mean Pluto is not just active, it might be alive. Pluto's atmosphere adds another layer to the mystery. Composed mostly of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, it glows with a reddish haze made of complex organic compounds called tholines, molecules formed when sunlight reacts with atmospheric gases. These same molecules are thought to play a role in the chemistry of life. Karen, too, carries evidence of a shared story. Its surface features massive canyons and strange reddish polar caps possibly created when gases from Pluto escape and settle on Charon's frozen poles. Together, they seem to form a connected system, constantly exchanging matter and energy. Pluto is also unique among the many icy bodies of the Kuiper Belt, a distant region filled with frozen debris from the early solar system. 
While most of these objects are cold and motionless, Pluto stands apart. It has moving glaciers, an active atmosphere, complex chemistry, and internal heat. It is, quite literally, the most alive world in a region once thought to be dead. And that raises a deeper question. If Pluto can remain active this far from the Sun, what other secrets might be hiding in the icy frontier beyond Neptune? Some researchers even speculate that Pluto could have a weak magnetic field, possibly created by its liquid interior. If true, that magnetic field might help protect its atmosphere from solar radiation, another factor that could sustain its mysterious chemistry. Every new discovery about Pluto makes it more than just a frozen outcast wandering in the darkness. It's a world in motion, shifting, breathing, and evolving in ways we're only beginning to understand. Beneath its icy surface, beneath the silence of billions of years, something continues to stir. A whisper of heat, a hint of movement, perhaps even the faint rhythm of life. For decades, we thought Pluto was finished. A leftover world from the solar system's birth, forgotten at its edge. But the truth, revealed piece by piece through the eyes of our most advanced telescopes, tells a different story. Pluto is not a fossil of creation. It is a survivor. A living archive of cosmic history, still writing its own chapter in the story of our solar system. Its glaciers still creep slowly across the surface. Its nitrogen plains still shift and flow like frozen rivers of glass. Its atmosphere, thin, fragile, yet complex, still rises and falls with the rhythm of its long orbit around the sun. And beneath all that ice, hidden in darkness and pressure, there may lie a secret ocean, a cradle of potential life, sealed away for billions of years. The more we learn about Pluto, the more it challenges our most fundamental definitions. What does it truly mean to be a planet? Is it the size? The orbit? The activity? Or is it something deeper, the ability to change, to evolve, to hold the possibility of life? Pluto forces us to ask these questions because it doesn't fit our simple categories. It behaves like a planet, moves like a planet, and perhaps even breathes like one, but exists in a realm beyond our imagination. It reminds us that nature doesn't obey our labels, it simply is. And sometimes, the smallest worlds hold the biggest mysteries. So now, the question isn't just if Pluto could host life but what kind of life it might already be sheltering. Could there be microbial colonies feeding on minerals beneath the ice, warmed by the slow decay of radioactive heat? Could strange, alien chemistries be unfolding in the deep ocean darkness, forming molecules that defy everything we know about biology? Or could Pluto be home to something even more extraordinary, a completely new form of life? born in conditions so extreme that it redefines the very meaning of existence. Every strange heat signal, every chemical trace, every unexplained pattern coming from Pluto invites us to look deeper, to imagine that the universe may be more alive than we ever dared to believe. And in doing so, it teaches us something about ourselves. That curiosity is not just human instinct, it is the engine of discovery. What secrets still lie buried beneath that icy crust? What hidden forces keep this distant world alive? And what else might be waiting in the twilight of the Kuiper Belt, among the countless frozen worlds that orbit silently beyond Neptune, each holding its own ancient story? Pluto stands as a symbol of mystery and resilience, a world once abandoned, now reborn in our imagination. It reminds us that even the smallest voices in the cosmic symphony have their own music to play. Once dismissed as a relic, Pluto has become a beacon of possibility. A frozen frontier, glowing faintly at the edge of sunlight, calling to us to keep reaching farther. It speaks to the explorer within us, the part of humanity that refuses to stop asking questions, even when the answers seem out of reach. And as our telescopes sharpen their gaze, as new missions are planned to return to this distant world, one truth becomes impossible to ignore. Pluto's story is far from over.
Its heart still beats beneath the ice. Its mysteries still echo across the darkness. And somewhere, out there in that frozen light, the next great discovery is already waiting. So, keep wondering. Keep exploring. Because every time we look beyond the horizon, we take one step closer to understanding who we are, and how vast, strange, and beautiful the universe can be. Keep your eyes on the stars. Because even at the edge of the solar system, a forgotten world named Pluto is quietly reminding us that no place is ever truly lifeless and no dream too.